just the vibe. I, I like. I was vi- like, I've heard this one. I like this one. I was vibing with this because it's old school. Rick Ross is old. Bro, school there's just rapper. something when I hear Rick Ross rap, I like it. Mm-hmm. So here we go. This is the I Rick Ross sh- uh, champagne moments. This is the Drake diss. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they. That's a 90s beat. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss. What you could. Ooh! <laughs> Everybody know Drake had a writer before. That's all I'm saying. That's why, that's, that's why the, even with that last song, did Drake write the whole thing? It's always going to be a question. That's a good question, man. Dude, for a moment, it's like I had a little um, vibe from uh, um, Biggie. People think I'm like ridiculous when I say that, but sometimes when I hear Rick Ross, you get that. I get a Biggie vibe. Oh, for real, you do? I do. I've been saying that, Mm -hmm. and people like, no, you're disrespecting Biggie. I'm like, nah, man, Biggie at all. No, the front right from the vocal join, the cadence. That's what I'm saying. And and Rick Ross probably idolized Biggie. Like, dude, that's what I'm like. I I like. He's from that era. Yeah. Toss from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss. What you could have had. Record label taking a loss. Are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind. Tell by my watch. This a different time. Living fine. I'm getting high. It's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. Because mm. he talked about, because Drake said about how I can't have yeah. all my chains. Dude. I'm so, Rick Ross, Rick Ross be nice. See, he's actually addressing what he said. Yeah, I, I, uh, I like this already. Oh, oh, that's right. We, okay, okay. Oh, thank the you. turn in fifty. Okay, that's what that was. Th- thank you, thank you. I've oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Don't Rick Ross do got tracks with Drizzy? Mm-hmm. He does. I can't can't dispute that. But I'm like, who cares if Rick Ross is fifty? If he can still rap, he can still look at him. So if you look at Tech Nine, look at Tech Nine. Is like, what? what? You can't, you can't be in the game anymore at a certain age. Even Fifty Cent when he wants to get like, that's like, what I'm saying, man. Still drop it. I'm getting high as your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis? Snoop. Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B I G or give a fuck if you chi Ali. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Mm. Job better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss spread through the yard and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it. It off for the thrill, niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping the gangster, when you see me, you check me. White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. I see you. Getting bullied. He said, "White boy, I see you." Because Drake's biracial. Yeah, biracial. I get the joke. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was that's, funny, bro. That's, that's why he did that. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Say, white boy, check yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really? Woody like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. <laughs> Weezy gave you the juice. Another- Weezy gave you the juice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really Woody. Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Wheezy gave you the juice. Another white boy had to park one and hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when I'm switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money. Hey, let's be real. Bro. Eminem helped Drake's career a lot too. He wants to talk about Drizzy. Dude, that forever song. Yeah. How big? How big did Drake get off of that with recognition when people oh listen to that? Oh my god, that was like Bro, the biggest. But, but like in the long scheme, Lil of Wayne things, has uh-huh. put Drake on. Dude, I mean, but he wants to sit there and talk about how Rick Ross make getting hits with people. Drake, that's what I'm saying. Some right? of Drake's biggest songs are fucking features. Of who? Because of who he had on it. Dude, this is gonna get messier. Oh yeah, and this this is nowhere but then, near but over. Again, Drake saying just saying shit to say it when you can't back it up. 
just because it sounds good in the moment when you're putting it out there, when you're you gotta actually back it up, dude. Rick is right. Rick, Rick, Rick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna get messy. And I wonder who's gonna clean it up in the end, bro. <laughs> Everybody's just waiting to see what Kendrick's gonna say. Yes. But again, that's what that's mainstream what mainstream is doing. still gonna give the win to Drake, though. They are. They're all gonna talk like Drake won and, and beat everybody. Yeah. I because Drake's the Drake's the golden goose. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You, he, he, even when Pusha T annihilated him, they kept trying to say See, that Drake. Won. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say? Fifty mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got pictures to paint. Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home. And no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangsters. When you see me, you check me. Yeah, how many songs of Rick Ross's got leaked? No, Drake. Drake. Oh, yeah, Drake. Yeah, but Drake. still, yeah, that's, that's what, what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. But, I mean, putting them out there to try to get the gen- the, the buzz generated. That's what I'm saying. When the album drops. That's what I'm saying. Sorry. Get what was backwards. that? What was that little audio, though? Gangster, when you see me, you check me. I didn't hear that. Okay. Oh, uh, see, see, see. <laughs> I didn't hear that before. Uh, <laughs> one wait, of my what? favorite rappers. He said Rick Ross. He he said Rick Ross well, is one of his favorite rappers. Listen, listen. Who, who said Dra- it? Listen, this is listen, this is Drake. It's an, it's an audio clip of oh. Drake that he put. Listen. Records when we speaking directly. If we keeping the gangsters, when you see me, you check me. I got a lot of respect for see, a lot of guys. See, there's one guy that that's, stands that's, out. That's why Rick. <laughs> that's what Drake. That's what Drake just said. Yeah, that was, it's an old audio clip of Drake saying that about Rick Ross. Oh. That's why Drake. That's why Rick Ross responded to him. One, it's the one guy he said he respected was Rick Ross. Now you, now you gonna diss me? See, <laughs> I thought you wow. respected me. Yeah. See. See. See how people switch. <laughs> that's fucked up. Operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. Oh, then your father knows. You said the police, nigga, hating on my dog project. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing nigga so fucking stunning your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Get Rap a lot some more money, nigga. White boy. Yeah, niggas. It's Rose, nigga. Yo. Where you wanna do it? Where you wanna do it? Anytime you wanna do it, I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. <laughs> I know you got your dockers on with no underwear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that surgery, that six pack on. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. <laughs> white boy. <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry. Oh Rick goodness. Ross calling Drake white boy is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. But yeah, after Drake dropped his his response, Rick Ross sent this back in six, put this out in six yep. hours. Damn. I thought I I liked Rick's more than Drake's. I did like that one more. It gave me more of the 90s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, that little audio clip in there. Yeah. My yeah. favorite dude to rap with is Rick Ross. Yeah, a little receipt there. Um nice. Um Damn. But yeah, Kendrick has to come harder than that. Yeah. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick got to come with the heat. That, that's what I mean. He got to come with the heat. Because if all that was was love taps, essentially, from Rick Ross. Rick Ross didn't even really annihilate him, but he hit him. Damn, man. Thanks for stopping in. Spend the time with us today, y'all. Hit that notification bell and give it a share because it always helps the channel out. Please, and thank you. See you guys in the next one. Later, y'all. Peace. Bye.